Um, Edward McCauley, I'm a professor of kinesiology, community health. My primary uh, research focus is on physical activity, uh, aging and psychological and physical function in older adults. Clearly, as you age, there's um, a number of decrements, everything from mental cognitive decline to the obvious physical decline. But the issue that we continually grapple with is one of, is this inevitable? Is the declines that we see inevitable? It's clearly not when you look at some of the people in our communities who are very vibrant, uh, both uh, mentally and physically, uh, for much of their, their life. Currently in the background we have uh, one of the groups in a, a large randomized controlled trial that Art Kramer and myself are conducting, uh, looking at the effects of uh, physical activity on brain structure and function, as well as psychosocial function and uh, independent living in older adults. The uh, main question we're investigating in the exercise study is whether uh, physical exercise, more specifically aerobic exercise, walking further and faster, will have beneficial effects on a variety of memory and cognitive processes. Our hypothesis, Art and Mind, is that changes in brain structure and function come about through changes in fitness, and that we can, in some cases, prevent or, uh, in other cases, uh, attenuate or stop the declines that individuals see with aging. One of the most important things for something I'm very interested in, which is quality of life, is the ability for someone to carry on being independent as they age, and they get a great deal of, uh, of pleasure from. This activity here, uh, <laughs> uh, this activity here is our, what we call our Flex Toba group, which is flexibility, toning and balance. And um, their uh, activity sessions are designed, as you would imagine, to improve all of those things. Our other groups uh, in this project are actually uh, involved in a, in a walking program. It's just a walking program, walking on the track. We monitor it very carefully, the extent to which they're keeping their heart rate up, they're meeting their goals in terms of intensity of activity, of duration of activity. We do fairly extensive uh, neuropsychological testing, uh, neuroimaging testing. We do uh, work up on a, a variety of different components of the blood. And in addition to that, uh, fairly extensive testing of psychosocial function with questionnaires and so forth. All of these older individuals, regardless of whether they're in the flex toba group or in the, uh, uh, the walking condition, they all go through uh, a graded exercise test three times, baseline, six month, 12 month. What that graded exercise test is showing you is what is the individual's ability to take in and effectively use oxygen. The more you can take in uh, per minute relative to your weight, the more fit you are. Let's see how hard you feel you're working now. 17, how do you feel? Do you go soon? Okay, it's called on. a VO2 max test. You get on a treadmill, it gets steeper, it goes faster. You have uh, leads from an electrocardiogram on your chest and you breathe into an oxygen mask. And it so happens that we use this test as a way to screen individuals for their fitness level. But this is also an excellent diagnostic test for various cardiac problems. And when I did the stress test, found an anomaly around the heart, so they sent me for further examination. I had two blockages, 80% blockages, and I didn't even know it. So I had some stents put in, and that took care of that. But thanks to this program, I found that. Otherwise, I might have had a heart attack. So that's a positive. Okay, you might want to hold on. This is going to come to a quick stop. I'm hoping that I'm going to show some steady improvements. This kind of study may show if I'm doing something like this, I may be less likely to have things like Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's. I haven't exercised in three years, and the one particular change I've noticed is I had lost the ability to turn my head around when going in reverse in the car, and now I'm able to do that. Plus, uh, I don't hear so many creaks or knocks when I bend or move around and I seem to have more energy. I can really tell that even after just a week or two joining the program, seeing improvements in balance and uh, participants grabbing heavier weights during our exercise classes, it really does work for them, improving physical, mental ability. It's just a really great thing to see. 
that's, that's what we want to do. We want to make, make people um, more flexible, uh, have better tone, have more strength, have better balance so they can handle the travails of everyday life. Our data suggests that improvements in fitness are significantly related to improvements in cognition. We found fairly moderate improvements in physical fitness lead to relatively substantial improvements in intellectual function, memory, uh, the ability to, uh, to do uh, things that we do every day and perhaps to maintain those uh, skills as we age. Um, clearly, physical fitness training improves uh, cardiorespiratory function and uh, even has some um, important effects on psychosocial function. Being involved in groups uh, tends to lead to uh, much more successful aging. A, a lot of people think also that the only really mental benefits you get are from aerobic activity. That's not true. We, we show categorically that this type of activity has as many uh, uh, psychological benefits in terms of feeling better about yourself, uh, improved positive affect, reductions in depression in some cases, uh, a better sense of uh, physical self-esteem, better sense of self-worth, uh, and in the case where if you walk or, or regularly aerobically active, then we have seen improvements in brain structure and function. Better ability to attend to challenging tasks, and in general, an improvement in, uh, in cognition. 20, 30, 50 years from now, older individuals are going to dominate our society in terms of numbers. With the increase of the lifespan, one important thing is to study how to make sure people live longer but also live happier and uh, be able to uh, function well as people age. Uh, we like to think that our participants, if they have a successful experience here, go out and spread the gospel and try to get the, the people they know active or at least back and involved in our programs. I don't like getting up in the morning. I don't like coming to exercise class, but I always feel better than always after it's over with. In general, I think I, my health is both mental and physical is better. And I hope that by my being involved in experiments here at Beckman and elsewhere, that maybe in some way I can benefit people in the future. There is nothing that is better, has so many positive benefits to it than physical activity. We, we were actually genetically engineered to be physically active. You have to commit, you have to build it into your schedule, and in the end, you have to make it a part of your everyday routine. 30 minutes, five times or more a week is enough for multiple health benefits. And you can get that from a brisk walk. We don't need any special machinery we can get it by walking in their neighborhood, in parks, in gyms, that type of thing. I think the message that people have to get is if you want to live longer, you want to live happier, and you want to live better, then you have to put the time in.